still need to lift my truck. Today we got another mod for the 4Runner. It's pretty obvious that it's not an engine mod or an interior mod. It's sitting on ramps right now. By the way, Christian, if you're watching this video, thanks for letting me borrow these ramps. They are helping me a bunch. Today, I'm going to be changing out the mid-pipe section that has two catalytic converters, and I'm going to be installing a Y-pipe. This is the Y-pipe I got, and there are a couple gaskets with it. It's made by URD, also known as Underdog Racing Development. I'm laying under the truck to give a better angle. So this truck has a total of four catalytic converters. If you look at the top, the headers have the primary cats, which are these two, ow. And then the secondary cats are within this mid pipe section. And the Y pipe is going to replace these two secondary cats. I went ahead to spray the necessary bolts with penetrating oil and I let them soak for a bit because Usually, these bolts are very stubborn and they're the most time consuming. This mid pipe section is supposed to come out in two pieces. As you can see in the middle of this mid pipe, <laughs> it's bolted right there. But unfortunately, these bolts and nuts are botched. So I'm going to have to pull this mid pipe section out in one piece. This Y pipe has its pros and cons, and I'm going to list out all the pros. To start it off, better exhaust flow. It's getting rid of the secondary catalytic converters and with that it will be a lot less restrictive which will then increase horsepower as well as fuel economy. Also it's a lot lighter than the OEM mid pipe and I think it's 10 pounds lighter so I guess you could include weight reduction into this pro. It's not much but I guess every pound counts. And lastly it's going to change the sound of the exhaust, but it won't be drastic and not as loud like to where the neighbors will be complaining. It's going to give it a deeper, throatier sound, and it'll just be slightly louder, but again, not enough to where the neighbors are going to complain about it. As for the cons, there's not that many of them. However, they are pretty major. One of them being the price tag. It's... 500 for the Y pipe itself, and it doesn't come with any gaskets. So, if you want the gaskets, which I highly recommend, they are an extra $10. The second con is the installation. The way the URD Y pipe is bent and shaped the way it is, it's going to be a bit difficult to slip in between the frame and the body. Also, the OEM mid pipe is supported by the exhaust hangers. This one, no support whatsoever. The only things holding it in are the nuts and bolts that are connected from the headers and the muffler. And last con, which I think is pretty important, the URD Y pipe covers the transmission pan, which makes servicing the transmission a lot more difficult. I remember reading somewhere where the early 4th gen 4 runners, which are the 03 to the 05 models, the OEM mid pipe routed over the transmission, and a lot of people were complaining about it because they would always have to pull that out in order to do a transmission service. So with the 06 to the 09 models, which are the refreshed 4th gen 4 runners, Toyota rerouted the mid pipe section to go around the transmission. That way it made transmission services a lot easier. With me pulling out the OEM mid pipe section, I'm basically taking away the convenience of easily servicing the transmission. But the way I see it is, I don't have to service a transmission as often as like an engine oil change for an example. So I would only have to pull off the Y pipe and service a transmission once in a while. So without further ado, I'm going to set down the GoPro and get to it. Got all the bolts out. It's coming along nicely for the most part, except for this middle section.
I have to say, this OEM mid-pipe was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. And on top of that, it is super heavy compared to the URD white pipe. Starting to lose some daylight, but we're gonna have to transfer a few things over to the white pipe. This slips on like so. Now for the O2 sensors, I have a feeling that they're going to take a while, but I can only hope that they will come out instantly. Yep, it's super dark now, and we got a lamp under the truck. Very bright lamp, by the way. I was able to get the passenger side O2 sensor out with no problem. However, with the driver's side, it was so stuck, I needed an extra person. So, big thanks to dad for helping me out. I also noticed this. On the passenger side, there's an extra hole there for, I guess, either to reposition the O2 sensor or... Um, I'm not too sure what that second hole is for. Then I looked in the packaging and it came with this plug. I added anti-seize on this plug and I went ahead and added anti-seize on the O2 sensors, especially this one in case if I need to reposition it to that hole. Okay, I went ahead and added anti-seize on the bolts. I also gathered the gaskets. I'm ready to put everything together. We got the URD Y pipe installed. Looks so much cleaner and so much better than the OEM mid pipe with the two catalytic converters. All that is left to do is to start it up, hear how it sounds, and then check to see if there are any exhaust leaks. And if there aren't any, then we should be good to go. Oh gosh. Here we go. Oh. It's got a deeper sound to it. So I did the soap and water test and there are no exhaust leaks, so we are all set. I have the e-brake light on, I have the flashing seatbelt light on, and I have the low tire pressure light on. But the most important thing is, I don't have a check engine light, which is great. After installing the wide pipe, I had to give it some time to break in, run a few heat cycles through it, and see how the truck ran in terms of performance, fuel economy, sound, and anything else I can possibly think of. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with the results and I have a few good things to say about it. I'm going to start off with performance. It feels quicker, even though it's already quick to begin with. Uh, it accelerates quicker. It accelerates smoother and I don't have to put a lot of pressure on the gas pedal for it to get up and go. I could just lightly tap it and it will react almost instantly but of course I also have a cold air intake and a throttle body spacer so that's also an effect. Another thing I notice is it also accelerates quicker on the top end so around 4500 to 5000 that's where it starts to pick up even more and the way I figured that out is I may or may not have floored it a few times on the highway I don't condone it by the way now what's odd is that this truck feels lighter whenever it's rolling and I only pulled off 10 pounds it's it's very difficult to describe it maybe it's a placebo but strangely enough 
it feels lighter whenever it's rolling and it's weird to say that in a 4,000 pound vehicle like this. So that's it for the performance, let's get on to the sound. Obviously, it sounds louder upon startup, as you could tell from before and after. It's got a deeper tone to it, it sounds throatier, and whenever you floor it, it sounds very raspy. And I will show you that in a little bit. I, I kind of don't like it, and I may fix that in the future. But other than that, it's, it's slightly louder. I have my second GoPro in the back mounted, ready to record everything, and it's 9 o'clock in the morning and it's 40 degrees outside, and I figured I'd wait till it's cold because it sounds a lot louder. And lastly, fuel economy. My truck definitely gained some MPGs ever since I installed the Y-pipe and roll the MPG update sound. I recorded this before, but the audio was cut off, so I'm just going to play the visual part and explain it from there. I am almost at 24 miles per gallon. That is insane, and I can't believe it. So, without further ado, I'm going to start up the truck. We're going to hear how it sounds, and then we're going to go for a drive. This new exhaust sound is starting to grow on me. <laughs> and we are off. And watch, I'm just gonna step on it a little bit and you'll be able to hear the exhaust right away. It feels very smooth. It picks up really quickly and it went from 0 to 35 just like that and 35 is the speed limit in the street but I like the sound a lot more now and everywhere I go I always drive with the back window down it's not obnoxious to where people are just gonna give you funny looks it's just loud enough to where like I can enjoy it and feel comfortable so as I was planning this video, a friend of mine told me that people like to hear what an exhaust would sound like whenever it goes under a bridge or in a tunnel. But here's the thing, I have floored it under an overpass before and sure enough, it echoes. But most of the sound is coming from the cold air intake and in the back there's somewhat a good amount of noise but it's very raspy 70% of the noise is coming from the intake and 30% of the noise is coming from the exhaust and this is where it sounds very raspy It echoes, but mainly from the front. Like I said, I'm gonna change that in the future. So that is it for today, as well as a few weeks ago when I installed the white pipe. Thanks for watching. If you're subscribed, thanks. If you're not, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Take care everyone. I will catch you on the flip side.